Dear friends, electric field intensity along the axial line of an electric dipole. This is a dipole having negative and positive charge having a finite distance that is L and L. That is 2L is the distance between the two positive and negative charges of an electric dipole. Along the axial line, this is said to be an axial line which is passing through the axis of a dipole. At certain distance D from the middle, here you are keeping one test charge which is always positive charge. So when you keep a test charge here, this positive charge will repel and electric field intensity E2 is in this direction and because of negative charge there is an attraction and this is taken as electric field intensity E1 because of the negative charge. But you should remember one thing that as negative charge is very far from this point E1 will be lesser and E2 will be greater because here repulsion is stronger because positive is closer to positive. Attraction is weaker because negative is very far from the positive test charge here. Okay. So now from the positive charge, you will take the distance as D minus L. From the negative charge, you take the distance as D plus L here. Okay. So you all know the general formula for electric field intensity. The general formula for electric field e is equal to Q by 4 pi epsilon naught into R square. You know about this. Let me take uh, E by 4 pi epsilon naught. Here I am going to consider 4 pi epsilon naught as K here. So K Q by R square is going to be your general formula. Now here uh, if you consider this as a general formula then what is an actual formula let us see here now. See because of the negative charge and because of the positive charge. Because of the positive charge you consider uh, electric field intensity E2. Okay. E2 is equal to K Q by and the distance is taken as D minus L. Okay. So D minus L whole square by using this formula here. R from the positive charge is D minus L. R from the negative charge is D plus L. So I consider E1 as K Q by D plus L whole square here. Okay. This is going to be done. So E1 and E2 along the same direction along the same point both the electric field intensities are acting. But you all know that this is larger E2 is greater than E1. Therefore, along the axial line is considered to be E2 minus E1. Okay, this fraction is larger. This is addition, so this fraction is smaller here. Okay, so you will take like this. So along the axial line, Ea is equal to E2, E2 minus E1 means KQ can be taken as common here. Now we'll writing our 1 minus 1 divided by D plus L whole square minus 1 divided by D plus L whole square bracket close. Let me take the next case. What is that we are going to do now here? E along the axial line, you write K Q. Okay. From this you take one D minus L. From this you take one D plus L. D minus L into D plus L is D square minus L square. Again, one more D minus L, one more D plus L are there. So D minus L into D plus L is nothing but D square minus L square. So totally, if you multiply denominator giving D square minus L square D plus L whole square minus of d minus l whole square here. So e along the actual line kq you write like that only d square minus l square whole square in the numerator you are getting how much? See a square plus b square plus 2ab here a square plus b square minus 2ab but minus sign is there what happens here what is left now? a square plus b square a square plus b square minus will become they get cancelled what is left now? 2ab means 2dl again here also minus 2dl will get minus of minus will become plus. So totally 4 dl will get here. So therefore E along the axial line will be getting how much? Here you take 2 q k q divided by d square minus l square whole square here. Okay. So what is left now? You can do one thing here. You take this uh, 2 or you take this k here and take 2 ql separately you take d separately. Okay. So 2 you write like this. So 4 can be taken as 2k into 2 ql. Okay, why because this 2QL is going to be the dipole moment formula that is because P dipole moment is nothing but 2QL that's it. Okay, so I can write here now E along the axial line is equal to 2KP D divided by D square minus L square. Okay, so here if length of a dipole is very less compared to the distance D, this L is very less when you take very far distance. So L can be neglected here. So this part goes what is left now just here now whole square is also present. So E along the axial line is nothing but 2 K P D divided by D square whole square is D power 4. So D, D can cancel here. D cube is left. Here. So therefore finally what are we going to get now? So finally you are getting E A is equal to 2 K P by D cube. You also know that K is nothing but 1 by 4 by epsilon naught. Therefore you can write like this finally. 2 epsilon naught. This is going to be E along the axial line. Okay. 
So this is without cancelling this one. Okay, e along the axial line where you will get d square minus l square whole square here. That's it. Okay, the simple derivation here for electric dipole along the axial line. Thank you.